Hey, did you know the word boner used to mean blunder or mistake? Ah, uh, yeah. Whenever I make a mistake now, I'm going to say I've made a boner. Also, if you happen to give me a boner, it would certainly not be a mistake. Ah, uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be blocking you now. I hope you understand. Wouldn't be a mistake if you gave me a boner. <laughs> and I was going to say, like, this sort of stuff is totally fine if you just like two best friends being funny, just like joking around. But it says here, a friend of a friend started messaging me. So like they're not even close. That makes it so much weirder. Ah, first post of the video and I'm already creeped out. Welcome back guys, hope you're doing fantastic, thank you so much for tuning back in and welcome to some creepy private messages. When I was sitting here today thinking about what sort of video I wanted to make, like I always do, I forgot about this subreddit and I was like, oh, we need to get freaked out. <laughs> so I'm here and I'm gonna deliver the icky, icky, gross, gross yuckiness. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Thank you so much for all your ongoing support. The channel memberships is alive right now. I have a private Discord server that goes along with that, so if you become a member of the channel, you get access to the Discord group and you can talk with me, and I'm really, really excited. I think it's going to be a whole bunch of fun. I'm not going to talk about it very much because I don't want to be one of those sorts of people you know. It's just one of those optional things if you want to support the channel, but yes, you definitely don't have to. But for now, it's creepy private messages time. Enjoy. I love the way you tap the piano pedal, and then another message, I love your piano video. Videos. And then another one. Lovely. Can you show the pedals? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what are you getting out of this? I don't understand. Like, I can't tell if this is creepy or wholesome. Or wholesomely creepy. Do you have a foot fetish or are you a piano enthusiast? Do you just really like to see people play piano? I have no idea how to feel right now. Hey. Hey. How are you, Belle? Yo, I'm good. You? I'm fine. Do you allow not suitable for work DM? Only this kind. <laughs> That's definitely not suitable for work. If you're in the office, don't go standing on your chair. You could cause an accident. OMG, what a sweet, innocent pose. I'd love to take your holes for a spin. Oh, yuck. <laughs> icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. That is dominant 30 female from Norway would love to take control and guide you to full use of your cavities. <laughs> Sorry, my dentist made me get fit. Feelings. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so glad you turned it around and made it about your teeth. Ugh, cavities. There's something so just weird about that word. I think of like a cupboard or something when you say a cavity or like a manhole in a ceiling. This video just keeps getting creepier, doesn't it? I don't know what I expected to be fair. Hey, can you measure each of your testes in width and length? Um, I'm good. I'm taking that as a no. Yeah, correct. I guess that's one category where you can't compete then, huh? I'm sorry, what am I competing for? I don't remember entering a competition about my testes. Surely they're joking. Can you measure each of them in width and length? No, <laughs> definitely not. LOL, so babe, tell me the nastiest and freaky thing I can do to you or the nastiest thing that you want to do. Cuddle and handle my emotions, haha. -ha. Lol, really babe, tell me the nastiest thing I can can do to you. And the nastiest thing you like to do. Is this a robot? What's going on here? I'd like you to talk about other things besides, you know. I know, babe, but I wanted to know what the nastiest things you want <laughs> and I can do to you. Clean my toilet bowl. Lol, really, babe? <laughs> they just keep going. They never give up, but they should. You know, everybody talks about not giving up and, you know, being persistent. But this is a situation where you should give up. Stop messaging them. Stop being so weird. But no, really, babe. <laughs> Please tell me. I'm sorry to say, buddy. I don't think this is going to get anywhere. Hi. May I shrink and be birth control for you? I'd be very tiny and at your, you know, blocking all and cleaning up any mess. Now, 
Now listen, that's a creepy, weird, gross message, but like <laughs> the fact that you said cleaning up any mess at the end made it sort of wholesome, you know, because I can imagine like just walking around with a broom, just like sweeping up the floor, making sure everything's okay. But that's the only part about this message that isn't absolutely terrifying and inappropriate. Hey, I have a weird question. Oh boy, always stressful hearing this. Go for it, haha. -ha. Oh, sorry, I wasn't trying to stress you out or anything. Haha, <laughs> nah, nah, go ahead. Okay, if you don't mind me asking, how thick are you <laughs> with two C's? Oh, good, glad to see my hesitation was justified. Yeah, I'm regretting it already. That seems like the appropriate response after acting like a pair of dingo kidneys. And what, pray tell in our conversation about your collection of tiny chairs? Gave you the impression that A, this seemed like an appropriate question to ask, and B, that I would respond to it. Sorry, I don't know what you just said. I have no idea. I feel like an ass. Obviously, they're aware of their mistake. They're recognizing that they were being creepy, which makes me wonder why you would even ask that in the first place. They're obviously like a fairly reasonable person. They just want to know how thick they are. Hey, you witch. Hi. Hi, baby. Will you freaking talk to me, please? I need you. Frick you, voicemail. Oh, that makes it so much funnier. Like, oh, screw you, voicemail. <laughs> it just reminds me of when, like, my parents get angry at technology. Like, oh, God, why isn't this computer working? And it's, like, the simplest thing ever. Oh, screw you, voicemail. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. Oh, it says here my stalker is going strong. And this has been a two-year ordeal. Oh, that's a lot worse than I thought. Oh, <laughs> creepy. I really hope you're okay. I want to talk. Why? Please don't make me sad. I want to see you. Be sad. I won't. I can show you. Do you want to see? Oh, very weird to say that. Then some love heart eyes and a fire emoji. Ah, uh, no. Why? Because that's dumb. And then they send a photo. We have so much fun. Ew. I don't think you can call it fun. Do you want to see sperm whales? No. <laughs> I'm more of an orca man myself. I don't know about you guys, but I'm well and truly creeped out. Oh, yes, nice and simple. Jerking to your pick right now. Ha ha ha, thank you, dude. Ha 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 ha. Lovely to know. <laughs> BRB, I'm gonna go vomit. Do you wanna fun? What does that mean? How does one simply fun? Sex fun? <laughs> no, <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Like, why didn't you just say that? What do you mean do you wanna fun? That could mean a lot of things. I have fun every day on this YouTube channel. Like, you can't just say wanna fun. That could mean anything. By the way, anything that isn't creepy. But no, they have to make it creepy, don't they? God, I just wanted to fun. <laughs> I swear I can feel my you know what count getting higher the more I look at you. That's an abstract thing to say. <laughs> and I don't think that's how it works, dude. Is this bad men's anatomy? I swear I can feel my you know count getting higher the more I look at you. They're basically just saying that they're hot, but in a really weird weird way. I just find it funny how these people go out of their way to make it weird. To be fair, it is entertaining. Where in your soul's itch, under toes, between toes, ball, arch, heel, under heel, edges, question mark, are you a 23 year old lady? What? <laughs> the weirdest message I've ever read. <laughs> are you talking about feet? Where in your soul's itch, under toes, yeah, between toes. Okay. Ball, arch, heel, under heel, edges. Oh my god, that's kind of amazing. And it says here that they responded and they were actually pretty decent. They didn't cause like a big fuss and they weren't like super creepy. Like asking about their feet, I guess? <laughs> Hello, I'm genuinely curious. Under toes, between toes, ball, arch, heel, or under heel, or edges? I'm looking forward to your response. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Just chilling. What about you? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, cool. I'll love to get your bills and your debt paid and you'll also get $500 allowance twice a week. Can I be your sugar mummy dear? <laughs> um, a bit of a different one. Like, yeah, it's creepy, but like, dude, here's my PayPal. As long as we don't have to meet up, I don't care. I'd love to pay off your bills and get your debt paid. Why, thank you. <laughs> you know, it's definitely a scam. There's no way that that's real. And yeah, if anybody ever get stuff like that, don't respond. Hey, I got a random hypothetical 
question, ha ha. It may offend you and if it does, I apologize. If a scientific company doing a secret experiment in a science lab asked you to work for them for 12 grand a day, would you? The only catch is you've got to wash jail prisoners who are tied up over big industrial sinks while wearing dishwashing gloves and an apron. Hee <laughs> hee, would you do it for 12 grand a day? And it's only two hours of work. Ha ha. You'll also have a guard with you. Don't worry, you'll have a uniform on under the apron, water resistant top and pants. Okay, this is the weirdest message I've ever read. What are you talking about? I am so confused. Do you work at a jail? Or are you talking about them washing you? Are you tied up? What's going on? <laughs> like, yeah, that's what you're into, but I don't even really understand what you're into. 12,000 a day? You know, like, we need to hear more information here, dude. Hey, I'm so-and-so from so-and-so. You're hot. Do you mind if I, you know what, to you? Ha ha ha. Like, the fact that they just send that message, they want them to know that they're doing that, which is so weird. You know, like, they probably just like the idea that they know that they're doing that, which is so gross and so rude when you think about it. Ugh. Icky, icky, icky. Would you be interested in having some fun? sometime. I like board games. Oh, what about some great you know what? Oh, I haven't heard of that board game. Lol, what's your favorite position? Ugh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's do like a million wholesome memes. I think we need it. Work, stress, anxiety, hugs from my kid. Yes! <laughs> I'm stronger than ever. Now, I don't have any kids, obviously, but I'm sure that is such a beautiful feeling. When you absolutely need them to know that you you're more excited about this pregnancy than they are. Oh, <laughs> I want a horsey. This subreddit is such a nice change from creepy PMs, me, the homies, and my love and support. Oh, <laughs> you're having all of this, dude. Wait, that's the beer that's around his head? No. Is that just like a photo of when it hits his head? Am I tripping out? That's the foam of the beer around his head, isn't it? It looks like a cloth or something. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh my God. I've been looking at this photo for like... 10 minutes. My vegan cousin who can't eat anything at the family barbecue. Me who got them a veggie burger. Nah, you remembered. <laughs> nah, that's really sweet. And like, I do really appreciate it when people remember the way that you eat. Not even that, just like anytime anyone remembers anything about you, it always feels so good. It's like, oh, you were listening to me. <laughs> you remembered. People who put their milk first. People who put their cereal first. People who put their own health and well-being first. Now we're talking. I'm not putting the milk or the cereal first. I'm putting me first. Three, two, one, draw. <laughs> sketch, 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 sketch. This is a mighty fine work of art. You get a gold star. Good job. <laughs> oh, that's what they meant when they said draw. I got shot in the foot. I drew a nice picture and he shot me in the leg. We really need to clarify what you mean by draw. People are going to get hurt over here. All right, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, all that fun stuff. I make videos two times a day and I'm sure you'll enjoy my next one. I really liked how we did a lot of wholesome memes today. Sometimes you really do need more wholesome memes. Today's comment of the day goes to Amanda. Watching these videos makes me feel better about my life. Thank you for that. No problem. <laughs> You're very, very welcome. And I do know exactly what you mean. I'm the exact same same way. Like every time I do these sorts of videos, I'm just so grateful that I'm on the other side of the computer with you guys laughing at this funny stuff instead of actually, you know, experiencing it. It's a good time. All right, guys, thank you for all your support. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a wonderful night. And I'll see you tomorrow with two brand new fun videos. I'll see you then.